Hi guys, so this is uh, just a quick little video to show you something pretty cool. Uh, last night I went out and uh, I meant to get a sandwich from the local supermarket, Tesco's. Uh, US might not know what that is, but UK should. Um, and they had some sort of tablets in there, you know, like it's general iPads and things. And I was just sort of going, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. Already got an Android uh, tablet. Don't really need an iPad. But something caught my eye and they had a Windows 8.1 tablet. Uh, own brand one, funnily enough, for a uh, hundred pounds. Um, I can probably find it on here as well. It's called the Connect Connect Seven Windows Tablet, um, and it will be here. So this is kind of irrelevant if you're not in the UK, but um, it's a Tesco's tablet. It's basically their own version, like they do the Huddle, which is their Android tablet, which is really good spec for the price. Uh, and this is their Windows version. So £100, which is kind of stupid, really. Uh, it's got an Atom processor. It's a quad-core processor, 1.3. Uh, not so brilliant on the RAM, uh, but 32 gig. And But the most important thing is, is it's a proper Windows machine. It's not Windows Mobile or, you know, just the Metro tile stuff. It's actually Windows 8.1, full on, so you can install proper programs on it. Um, so that kind of got me thinking. I installed Steam on it with a view to installing some you know less demanding games like some old games um and maybe just plug in a controller in and because uh, it's got a usb port um and then when i opened up steam steam was still running on my main pc and it said stream games which reminded me that you can actually stream games to another device on the same network so i was like wow this is cool i can probably play like all my games you know my entire games library sitting in bed on this little hundred pound um device with a controller, uh, you know, good to go. So basically, uh, this video, after the very long intro, is going to explain uh, how you can do that with this tablet. So the first thing you've got to do on your host PC, which is this one, this is my main PC, uh, you go to settings, and there'll be in-home streaming. As you can see at the moment, Dan tablet is the Windows tablet. It's already logged into Steam. Um, so what you want to do is log into your main computer first. Uh, you want enable streaming. You've got host options. Uh, I've got hardware encoding and prioritize network traffic um, so that it will prioritize streaming of the uh, the game over anything else. You probably want to sort of keep your your Wi-Fi as clear, clear as possible while you're doing this so that you're sort of, you know, not using up any of the bandwidth on the Wi-Fi. Um, I've got my client options set to balanced, so that's just kind of, you know, medium sort of speed, medium sort of um, quality. Um, and that's about it really you got limit. You can limit the bandwidth I've got it on automatic, seems to work fine uh, desktop resolution seems to work fine hardware decoding I've got I don't display the information um, and that is about it so that's all you need to do to, there to set that up uh, and then the next bit I'll be filming on my shaky little DSLR and hopefully we'll show you the rest of it alright so you've got proper Windows 8 going on this which is ridiculous really I mean it's not the best tablet ever but for the price, it's ridiculous, and it streams really well. So I've got Steam on here. I'm just going to go ahead and open up Steam. So here we are, and when you do that, you'll see... So you'll see a little bit pop up in the window down there on the device you want to stream to that says Connected In-Home Streaming. So that means, basically, you're connected now through your Wi-Fi network uh, to stream. Bring up Steam. And basically, you can launch games from here... Um, but it sometimes, depending on the game, if you need to go past, like, say, for instance, Skyrim has a little window to start with where you have to select, you know, whether you want to play or whether you want to change settings. You have to do that on your host PC first. Um, so I'll show you that in a sec. But basically, so that's the next bit of that set up. Now, the thing that comes with this, which is really cool, is you get this little OTG lead, uh, which is basically mini USB. Sorry about the, the uh, focus. Mini USB to USB, and obviously you want to be controlling your games with something like this. Um, so what we do is this goes straight into this, the right way around. So that's perfect. That goes in to the end there. You probably can't see, but there's a little socket for that. And obviously because this is 
a proper Windows machine that will um, install the drivers if it hasn't already installed them uh, and as you can see we're good to go with the controller and also I think if you want to play mouse keyboard games say in bed with this sort of streaming um, these tablets apparently you can plug a USB hub into uh, the OTG lead and actually plug in loads of different devices um, probably drain the battery life battery life on this only lasts a couple of hours um, so you might want to get an extension and plug it into the mains um, so for example now I can go to my library it's a little bit finicky because it's a tiny tiny screen I've got uh, Skyrim there so it, instead of saying play now uh, you may or may not be able to see but it says stream so I'm going to go ahead and click on stream make sure I've actually clicked that there we go so now it's actually launching uh, so there we are that is launching on my main PC which is in my other room so yeah this is an example of where you have to go to the other PC the host PC and, and set it running and then it will appear on here and be playable so as you can see now I've got Skyrim uh, come up on my host PC uh, and all I need to do is simply hit play select the window and now as you can see I've got Skyrim now being streamed to my little £100 Windows tablet and I've got the controller here and if you can see on the menu there controller working perfectly we'll go continue the lag is really good like the latency this happens I haven't tried this in many other any other games yet to stream um, it looks like it's not responding, but it's basically where it loads. It, for some reason, it minimizes down. You can actually see my entire host PC desktop there being streamed. And then when you go back into the game, there it is. And I can't really play and hold the camera at the same time, but as you can see... It's really not laggy at all. Uh, I played about half an hour with this last night, just testing it out. Um, it may look like there's lag but th that's like it looks when you watch it on a video it doesn't feel like that when you're playing it it feels generally like the amount of you know input lag that you get they're probably like a you know maybe a 10 millisecond or something like that because Wi-Fi is pretty quick um, so yeah Overall, I am super impressed with this, and this just seems like a really cheap solution uh, as to how you can stream games to like a tablet. You can just lay in bed, or you can set it up like on a little desk in a different room or something. You know, not have to worry about moving your main PC or having a laptop that can play games or stream. If you haven't got a laptop and you don't want to buy one, then this seems like a really cheap alternative. You basically just pay £100, and then you can stream your Steam games to this little tablet, uh, which is wicked. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, tell me if you do stream sort of games to other devices. How you find the streaming and the lag and stuff like that. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.